it's a really busy day and they purposely counter program throughout the day. So my best advice is, you know, if you haven't looked at the schedule, you're going to be making tough, tough decisions all day. You just got to first start with that. You know, are you going to go get the Beverly Hills cast picture or are you going to go to like, you know, the New Jersey panel and hear what Teresa Judice has to say? It's literally going to be, you're going to be conflicted all day. But I would say first look at that schedule and have your plan in place before the day start. So nine to 10, if you choose the Beverly Hills picture, you're missing Teresa. Great. You got to, you know, stick with one, but I would really have your plan of what you want to do hour by hour, because that's already locked. That's the first thing. The second thing is, you know, like, what do you want to get out of it? A lot of people want the pictures with the Bravo celebrities. A lot of people really just want to sit in the lectures and hear what everyone has to say. Normally in the lectures at the end, there's a, there's two microphones, like in each kind of row, you can kind of run up. So be prepared to like get to the front, you know, they're, listen, if there's 75 people on each side, they're not going to take, you know, everyone's question. But if you want to ask Teresa what's going on with her and Melissa, and you want to hear it directly from her, get to the front of that and your question will probably be answered. You know, and look, they could do it different this year. My sources tell me they're going to do it pretty similar. It's going to be easier this year because it's all going to be in one location, which was not the case in 2019. But it's still going to be a lot of very quick, like nine to 10, you did this. This is what you want to do. And that's the other thing too, with the pictures, like there is an end to these lines. So you get in a line, I mean, the nine to 10, the hours over, you know, Kyle Richards has to go somewhere else. So that's the other thing. I would just say move fast. You're going to want to do everything. And so there's no, it's not drink a lot of coffee. Don't stay out late and drink. I mean, it, it just get the most out of it, you know? And so it's really an intense, like three days if you want to try to do everything. And you do, you spent the money, you got on a plane, you're staying in a hotel. So just, you know, then there's going to be the bazaar, which is like, I just spoke to Brooks Marks the other day, like Brooks Marks is going to be there, like, you know, selling Brooks Marks stuff. And, you know, I think, I think Luann's going to be there. So like, then there's going to be the bazaar, where everyone's selling their merchandise, where you can go, you know, you have 30 minutes, you can walk through and meet the other Bravo celebrities. You, you can usually get a picture. Sometimes you have to buy something that they're selling. But so it's kind of like, there's a lot of things to do on your own. And I would say my other advice is keep your eyes open because you are going to be walking. I mean, they are escorted by security, but there's a chance to meet and talk to the people that you want, you know? And so I just think you got to get over the fact that you're going to be missing stuff. It's FOMO, but just make your plan now ahead of time. Okay. And what about the add-ons? Is there any add-on experience that you think people should really consider doing or are they all cool? Or are they all, who knows? I think they're all great, but I have to say, if you really have to like spend the money on one or time-wise, I would do the watch what happens because it's literally, you know, I don't know if people remember from 2019, it literally is, you know, and I think it's going to be similar. My sources tell me this year, like you're going to have, you know, the New Jersey cast will come out and Beverly Hills. So it's like, it's literally going to be like a hundred Bravo celebrities on the stage. It's Andy. It's watch what happens. It is going to be recorded. Mm -hmm. I would do the watch what happens if you have to choose amongst everything else. And also I have to tell you, I mean, I don't know if people know this. I've been saying this on the behind the velvet Row podcast for weeks now, but it is true. They are going to announce the cast of the Roni reboot at BravoCom. That could change. I mean, sometimes I'm wrong, but I just, confirmed that about five minutes ago because I knew I was speaking to you. The reboot is coming. I know one of the people that is 100% going to be in the show. Well, 99% because we don't really know anything for 100%. Lizzie, you know, there's this woman, Lizzie Savetsky, and she's, you know, she's going to be, she's going to be great. So they are announcing that at BravoCon. So, you know, like, that's how we found out about Salt Lake first. So, you know, Andy will say, hey, you're asking about Roni. Guess what? Here they are. Yeah. And they'll come out and you'll see your cast of Roni. So they'll be floating around. So look, it's going to be a great three days. 
but I would say go to the watch what happens add on. I forgot what the other ones were, but like anything that's like a party, like I know they're having another party. I mean, mm-hmm. look, if you want a nice night out, great. But like, like last year in 2019, they had the Vanderpump rules party. DJ James Kennedy was spinning. Lisa. I mean, you're not hanging out. You weren't hanging out with Stassi and Jax and Kristen. I mean, they were there. So it's like the party in the group setting, think of what it is, but watch what happens. You're going to see all these people on a stage and it's great. Okay, so better return for that. And then lastly, um, where do you think people could catch up with you? It's so funny. Everyone has been asking me that. Um, I, that's a really good question. <laughs> I was going to be doing a meet and greet at one point on Sunday, but then it just, that got shifted. I'm like, there's too many things mm-hmm. happening. I'm going to be floating around. You know what I mean? I would say a lot of people that are like, could we meet somewhere it's almost like maybe Thursday. And that's the other thing. Everyone's going to be in town like Thursday. Everyone's going to be in town still on Monday. Mm -hmm. So maybe one of those days, but I am going to be floating around. So I would say, if you see me say hi, like let's talk, you know, (laughs) let's talk, but it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a great weekend. I'm really excited. I know. Well, hopefully we will see you there. So I hope, I hope to see you too. Yes, yes, yes. Well, thank you so much, David. I really appreciate great advice. Hopefully this will help everyone. Hopefully everyone will have a great weekend and, you know, let's get our Bravo on. 